All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. Now before we get started with today's episode, I just want to let you guys know that this episode today is probably going to be the last episode of Attack of the B Team for about a week. Uh, my wife and I are leaving. We're going to be celebrating our first year wedding anniversary. Um, so we're going on a trip and I'm going to be gone and probably won't have much access to my computer and everything. Um, by the time that this video is uploaded, as you guys are watching this now, I have already left. I am gone. So um, this is going to be the last Attack of the B Team episode for about a week. When I return, I will get back to it. We'll be doing some more retreat stuff and fun stuff. But uh, hopefully over the course of the week, um, there will be some videos going out. Uh, I'm trying my best beforehand here to prepare and get some videos sort of pre-uploaded and, and ready to go so that you guys still have content to watch. Um, so no Attack of the B teams beyond this one, but there will be Minecraft content. Um, I might be doing like some fun Minecraft maps or like just some mini games and, and some fun stuff like that. So guys, please make sure you check that out this week. Um, and uh, it'll hopefully feel like I've never left because videos will hopefully still continue to go up. But uh, I know today, <laughs> as I'm recording this, I still have a lot of work left to do. So, um, anyways, let's get down to what we're doing today. And that is that last episode I know was very disappointing because we didn't get a poltergeist. Now, I have talked to the mod creator and there is an alternate way to get a poltergeist. I found out from him that when we summon the poltergeist, um, or oh, sorry, when we summoned the specters and all that stuff in the brazier last episode, there is a 5% chance when you're summoning a banshee or a specter to get a poltergeist. So even though we summoned, I think like 13 of them or something like that, um, there's only a 5% chance. But on top of that, the poltergeist won't, it won't always spawn inside the circle. It can spawn above us, below us. Um, so it could be, if one did spawn, it could kind of be anywhere. Um, I really don't think that it did. Uh, but today we're going to use an alternate method um, that I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to keep secret because it is, it's on the wiki, but it's not like blatantly out in the open. So I will be keeping secret sort of how to do this, I guess, through editing. Um, if that makes you mad, sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to like keep a little bit of mystery with this mod. So I'm going to work on right now, very quickly trying to summon a poltergeist here. We're gonna monitor its behavior, check it out, look at it, see what it does, see what it looks like and all that fun stuff. And um, hopefully I can get this thing working. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, check it out. We have a poltergeist. He's right here. I have summoned him and revealed him. And he's just chilling, man. He's just kind of chilling. Like, I don't know, he's just doing whatever. Their hands are a little, a little bit creepy. It looks like they have, well, it's hard to tell. It sort of looks like they have um, like split hands or something like that, um, or that their arms sort of split. It's really weird. You can sort of see as it sways there. Oh, it looks like they have four arms. Weird, 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 weird. But he hasn't like really messed with this chest or anything yet. Um, I do want to see if I can trap him inside here. If I can, that would be awesome. Let me um, let me get my little launcher here. Uh, we'll try it this way. So, release, capture mode, okay. No, okay, so he can't be caught in these things. <laughs> I had a feeling that uh, he was gonna code it that way. So what I am going to do, um, because I can summon these now, which is amazing, today we are going to make a disorientation fetish, which is going to be sweet, and I really wanna see what this does. So we need two poltergeists and three spirits. Uh, so I'm gonna work on summoning another one and we will be right back. All right guys, so I have the three ingredients, the special secret ingredients inside here and we're gonna go ahead and summon another poltergeist. Now the, when I did the first one, he didn't go outside of the circle. Uh, excuse me, he spawned inside the circle and uh, stayed in there obviously because I have this right going right here. Now he doesn't actually attack me, which is kind of cool. He doesn't attack you. Um, I do, though, kind of want to like, let's see, let's break this. So he's just going to kind of run around, do his thing. I guess he was stuck. He keeps wanting to try to go this way, because when I first spawned him in, he kept wanting to try and go that way. Now, I need to get a uh, brew of revealing ready for the next one, uh, because when they first spawn in, uh, you see it's, those, you'll see like a little green thing, and then 
they go invisible because they're supposed to be invisible like that all right so check this out there there's our second one Rue revealing reveals our second poltergeist so they can't leave the circle which is awesome now in order to make the necessary um uh thing today the uh disorientation fetish we are going to need um to make uh basically either a tread effigy or one of these scarecrows now i already have a scarecrow um but i want to make i think i want to make another one um the other one outside is sort of for decoration so we need tormented twine a jack-o-lantern some sticks and some wool so let me go upstairs and double check real fast and make sure i have some tormented twine um this is gonna be awesome i didn't think that this was gonna be as possible to do today nice i've got some uh i didn't think that we were gonna be able to do this before I left for my trip, but we are, and I am really, really, really excited um, to to do this today and just sort of check this one out because this is the one that I've been wanting to make for a really, really long time. So we need a pumpkin, we need a torch, um, and we need four pieces of wool. There we go. And I think, let's see here. Whoops. Let's do this. Do this. Uh, let me see what else we're going to need. Where is it? Scarecrow. Yeah, it just three sticks. Uh, perfect. All right, so let me come over here. I'm going to grab this. We're going to do this, 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 this. Right here, right here, and three sticks. All right, perfect. So now we have a scarecrow. Now, we're just going to leave this uh, the normal color for right now. Um, okay, they're right here. I was like, where did they go? <laughs> they're right here. Good, good. So we have this, all right? We need to go get the supplies ready to, to sort of bind all this stuff together uh, as we've been doing the last couple episodes. So let me see here. We need the bowling. I know that. We're going to need the uh, a tune stone. We're going to need um, some, I think three spirits is what it is, I believe. So yeah, three, three spirits. Right, okay, awesome. So, so we also need, let me double check here. Scarecrow, a tombstone, necromantic stone, and the bowling. All right, this is gonna be sweet. Okay, and the best part is this one, these polter guys, they don't attack me. Now, they haven't messed with this chest at all, but these, they, they don't attack. So I can come inside here, it's gonna be perfect. And uh, this is going to be really, really cool. So put the three spirits inside there. They aren't moving around. They're like literally staying right where I placed them. <laughs> That's kind of bizarre. All right, but let me grab this, okay? And we're gonna come over here. There they go, now they're flying around. All right, so we've got the Attune Stone, the Scarecrow, and the Necromantic Stone, and the Bowline. And let's go ahead and right click on that bad boy. And we are going to make ourselves a Disorientation Fetish. This is going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, Disorientation, boom, there we go. Okay, so now we just get to have fun with this. Um, so what I need to do first is um, use some tag locks to uh, essentially um, protect certain people. So we are gonna go um, myself, we're gonna get a tag lock from um, Apothecary Quintavius and from Gus. So the usual suspects. All right, so here we go, let's go down here. Now, it's not really gonna mess with an NPC. I don't think this one really messes with NPCs all that much. It's more for human players, um, I believe. If I think if I think I know this correctly, um, then I think I know exactly what this is going to do. Uh, and I am, <laughs> I am so excited. All right, so place that down here, okay? Put myself in there, Apothecary Quintavius, and where is it? Right here, Gus. All right, so let me go ahead and eat some french fries and we are going to activate this, okay? So activate for players not in whitelist, all right. At, what was that? What was that you say? Yeah, so <laughs> this is the disorientation fetish. This is so cool, okay? It's going to flip your vision around every time you get near it, okay? So watch this. I fly in, and what? Exactly. It's going to, it's totally gonna disorient you. So it's hard to disable because I'm gonna have to do this. Um, let me disable this. You guys, I think you guys kinda get the idea, right? Uh, 
what you know what let's let's go outside and let's test this because um this has some really awesome uses some really really awesome uses so uh we'll just use um this as an example okay right here top of the tree okay this is perfect so let's go ahead and activate this for players in the whitelist all right you're flying you're flying you're flying dun, 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 dun. what the heck yep exactly isn't that sick that is so freaking cool it's awesome and i think even if you back up to it it still messes you up <laughs> that's so cool oh my gosh oh this is awesome okay so before i get totally tripped out oh, there we go let's go ahead and disable this all right so you guys kind of get the idea right you sort of see like what this is doing now what we need to do now is pick a color i want to i want to go and pick a color for this thing so we've got the red ones down here for decoration this one is the screaming one when people get near it's going to activate and uh, make some awful screaming noises but uh, for the disorientation one, I'm thinking, I'm thinking yellow might be a cool color. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just sort of, uh, I, I don't know. I'm a true, I'm, I'm associating this with Pokemon for some weird reason. Do you guys remember in Pokemon when your Pokemon gets, um, like confused? Those little yellow birds fly around his head. And that's like sort of how I feel about this. It's like kind of confusing you. And so we're going to use the color yellow on this. Uh, that looks really cool. So um, there we go. Now, I don't know where I'm going to be placing this yet, but that is uh, the disorientation fetish. Now, I don't really know what else I had planned to do today. I do think, though, that we need some more brew of revealing. So I would like to brew up some more of those. I'm going to put this away. Um, the Sentinel here. Oh, no, there we go. I didn't put it in there. We had the Sentinel one here. Uh, oh, I already had a Scarecrow. I could have already used that one. Whatever. But uh, let's go ahead and just use the rest of this um, time, at least for right now. I might think of something else in a minute. But I want to make some more brew of revealing. So we need to brew up some more potion of night vision. So this should be easy enough. Um, I was, I honestly was planning out today's episode in my head. And I was thinking that the, um, oh my gosh, we're running really low on uh, golden carrots in here. I was thinking uh, initially that uh, the poltergeist stuff was going to take a lot longer and the uh, the sentinel or um, excuse me, the um, whatchamacallits, the disorientation fetish was going to take a lot longer to develop as well. And it didn't. It actually was like pretty quick. That went, pre that went by pretty fast. Now, in terms of other things we're going to be doing when I get back, there is a whole line of potions here, the solidifying brews and stuff. We're going to be messing with those when I get back from my trip. Um, what else here? Brew of substitution. Um, oh, yes. And then um, all of the death stuff. I'm going to try and defeat death when I get back. That's going to be awful. That's going to be horrible. Like, I'm oof, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really dreading that. Uh, but we'll try it when I get back from my trip. Um, all right. Brew of substitute, or brew of revealing. We need a carrot mushrooms odor of purity okay so we're gonna need two odors of purity we're gonna need two of these um we need four of those okay and we're gonna need two carrots baby i don't know why carrots are used in revealing but i like it oh probably because it's the opposite of night vision which reverse of night vision is the um invisibility just in terms of uh sort of keeping in continuity with minecraft ingredients or something like that i don't know but it looks like we've got the ingredients that we need awesome we'll pop back up there so uh let me just double check the recipe boom 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 all right i think we got it so uh let's go ahead and do this boom 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 aha there we go Perfect. So we're up to eight. So that gave me four, I think, on that one. So let me grab this. I'm gonna grab this. I love this setup, man. It is perfect. It's the best witchery setup ever. All right, so here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Move these down. There we go. Now, how many do we get? Ooh, nice. That went from, was that? Did I get six there? How many did I have before? I can't remember. Uh, I think it was at eight. 
Um, I can't remember if it was eight or nine. Whatever. All right. So we got a, we got a handful here. We got 13 um, brew of revealing. So that's not bad. Now, I am running a little bit low. I like to keep... Well, you know what? We have plenty of bottles here. But I was going to go restock and maybe get a, a couple more bottles. Show you guys how I do this. How we do it. I'm sort of making this episode up as I go. Oh, man. Dude, okay. This is totally full right now. So we're going to... Uh, you know what? I can keep those. Uh, we are totally going to... Uh, I just tossed this stuff out. So the... Um, the, the witch grinder gets a little bit backed up after a while. Let's grab these. Um, it gets a little bit backed up, and I sort of just clear out this bottom row here. We have five witch trophies, though, which is pretty awesome. The mob essence is completely full, which is really cool. Um, so let me go back upstairs. We'll just throw these extra bottles in the hopper here. Now, boom, there we go. So I'm trying to think. Let's not leave off with 13. Let's... let's um. Let's do two more batches of this stuff. I, I really like these um, brews, of, brews of revealing. So let me go ahead and we're gonna request two more carrots, I think. Um, carrot. And the good news is that when I'm on my trip, I'm gonna have plenty, plenty, plenty of time to think about all these super cool new ideas for um, Attack of the B team. And uh, by the time I get back, hopefully I'll have a bunch of cool ideas to show you guys. Like literally right now, I'm just trying to piece this episode together <laughs> as I go, and I apologize. I'm doing the best I can. Um, so let's do. No, we need we need double of these. There we go. Um, that dude. This I swear, this disorientation disorientation fetish is going to be awesome. I'm really excited to use that for something. When we get back, I already have some ideas of stuff I want to do when I get back. Um, some of it deals with the uh, the new like witch hunter guild that sort of popped up with uh, generic and pungence and schism, and how they're trying to hunt me down and hunt down my my horcruxes and stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna be up in the defenses quite a bit, both for those and in the tower. It's gonna be fun. Um, so a lot of that's gonna start happening again when I come back. Um, and it's just gonna be a good time. So we need odor of purity. So let's see here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, no, six. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, perfect. So let's grab some bottles. All right, we can do this. Let's make some more potions. There we go. Turn white. Yes. We got four that time. Excellent. Um, all right. So now let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go. Uh, plop, 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 plop. Did I do that right? Yeah. All right. Two, four, five. Dang it! <laughs> I wanted to get six. All right, guys. So there we go. Up to 22 potions, a uh, brew of revealing. Awesome, awesome. You guys, that's going to do for today's episode of Attack of the B Team. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Make sure you check out all the videos I'm posting this week. Uh, I don't know that there will be one every single day. I'm going to try and do that. But um, like I said, with vacation, it's really, really hard. So thank you guys so much for being patient. I hope that you enjoyed this. We are going to have a whole lot of fun when we get back. Um, we've got the Sentinel fetish here. We've got Disorientation fetish. We've got a Shrieking fetish downstairs now. I think the only... There's a couple other ones we still have to do. Ghost walking, dude. Oh, this one is awesome. This one will sustain um, myself as a ghost in the spirit world. So you guys know how I can change into a ghost, right? Uh, and go into the spirit world and then back out from the spirit world into the real world as a ghost. This fetish, the ghost walking one, is going to allow me to basically prolong the duration of me being a ghost. So typically it's just like five minutes or something based on the number of witches in your coven. Well, this is going to allow us, if we're near it, to stay as a ghost for a lot longer. So we're going to be setting up some really epic stuff, guys. I'm, I'm Literally, I just got an idea. I don't want to share it yet, but it's going to be really, really cool. Um, and the voodoo protection one is going to make our voodoo protection stuff stronger. We might make one of those or whatever, but these three, one, two, three, oh, and four. These four are like really, really big. And guys, there is a new witchery update out now as well. Uh, it's not in the pack yet, but um, version point, uh, 0.19, I think, came out. 0 0.19. So hopefully by the time I get back, that's in the mod pack too. And we're going to have so much stuff to play with. 
uh, as well as all the other mods that are going to tie this, you know, tie this whole series together, of course. So, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great week, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.